Thank you for enjoying the podcast. Savage Garden fan, thank you. What if that's that kid that was trying to be gay with you? Oh, could be. <laughs> Savage Garden ass shaker. <laughs> Um, thank you for the, the gifted sub to Chet is awesome. Yeah, thanks for giving, giving gifting to my old, my old Twitch account. I can Hi, Francis. Wow, 40 months, OSW. Thank you. Yeah, I think this is one of his signature songs. I feel like I've seen him sing this to his wife before. Thinking man poster, thank you. Thank you. Francis tried running outside today as I was coming in. First time she's ever tried making a run for it. Cats don't realize that they're cowards. My parents yeah. have a cat like that. He always uh, tries to get out of the house, and then 10 seconds later, he's like, oh no, oh no, oh no. He just has an anxiety attack. Yeah, what, the, what the fuck is this? Like, they have no idea what to do. Like a harness trainer, take her for walks. Yeah, that's a... Uh, that can be nice. But a lot of it is them, like, rubbing their scent on bushes. Especially if there's another cat in the neighborhood, an outdoor cat, they will just... They'll just be smelling yeah, that other cat. Francis has gotten to fights through them, like with them through the window. <laughs> oh <laughs> the class. yeah. You like start hissing and batting at it. Classic. I used to have a cat that uh, would do that and then have a seizure from it. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, he was epileptic, and that was like one of the triggers it was him getting in a hissing fight with the neighbor cat through the window. All right, Pete. <laughs> Starting fights with people and then having a seizure right before it starts. Yeah. Dude, yeah. When a guy I worked with had a seizure when we were working, he just kind of like did a fucking spin move and it was like, it honestly looked like a cartoon. His legs kicked up in the air um, and it was like his first seizure ever. So we were all, and he didn't remember anything when we got out of the hospital. Pretty crazy. Damn, that sucks. His second, his second day here, he's the new manager. He'll be back though, he's doing good now. Sucks to have your first seizure ever at work. Yeah, right? Lady was lady who was he was helping out too, she was like, Hey, I think something's wrong with him like as he like is sort of like spinning around before he fell over. Oh my but, like, god, for, that's horrible. Yeah, she had but fortunately that lady had like somebody in her family who knew about seizures, so her and one of my other coworkers like knelt down to help out. So I was pretty relieved that I didn't have to get in there. But rest assured, if there was space I would have been in there. Especially if there because there's a really good looking girl in there. Man, too. I, I can't have imagine seizure, having that happen to me, just being like checking out and then the the cashier is just having a seizure. Like, mm -hmm. that would freak me out so much. Oh, yeah, this looks cool. Yeah, we gave her a discount for that. That means it's free, right? <laughs> that was a great year. My only real issue with this guy is his bad taste in interior decorations. And his really bad taste his? in general. No, it's his mom's. Um, but like his whole family, really. Because he's like a, a, a pro-gay... He's a gay, openly gay Anglican. Which... American Episcopalians are usually... Like upper middle class people. Is it, is it, it's is basically it, like still, being a Unitarian. This is the, yeah. This is the guy I always I get confused with Mead Skeleton. What's this guy's name again? Vance Dykes. Is a great huh. name. Yeah, it's a great name for a gay man. But he needs to start acting upper middle class. <laughs> Do we get do we you get can't have a fucking poster? NASCAR uh, wall scroll. That shit stinks. He's way ahead of Meade because he admits that he's gay. He is still a Trump supporter for some reason. Hmm. 
Eventually, some of those guys are going to have to peel off gay Trump supporters. Because uh, it seems like the tide is turning towards, like, full-on anti-gay stuff on the right again. There were a few years where they were, like, uh, okay with gay marriage, sort of. They accepted that it was, that that was the law. But I think now they're just going back to, like, uh, all gay guys are pedophiles. And they're, like, they're all grooming children. So guys like these are gonna have to, uh, choose a side. Yeah, the Dave Rubin thing. That's what I was thinking of. Wait, what, what happened there? Him and his oh. husband are adopting, uh... Or they're, uh, like, having surrogate babies. Mm hmm And, uh, all the replies were like, This is a mortal sin, you're going to hell. This is disgusting. What about the mothers? Very, like, return to tradition-y. Yeah, like, how could you, how dare could you... How dare you raise a child without a mother and a father? Oh, oh, God damn it. oh, nice. Laughs from Whoa. the internet. Oh, hell yeah. I love these ones. I think we watched this one earlier, but it really stinks. <laughs> Take a legal Take a thing. Legal. Thank you. Call of Duty Ghosts. How's it going, my guys and girls in the illumination? Time to jump aboard the Loon Train. Woo! It's me, it's me, it's JJD. JJ Double J's of the Illuminator here. Francis Pitt, thank you for the 21 months. All those other aliases and nicknames. We won't get into that right now. How come he never talks about gaming? I thought we'd look at some funny things around the internet. You should stream Call of Duty. Interesting things, things that make you laugh, things that make you go, hmm. Yeah. Like, you're struggling for content. If you're a gamer, why don't you just upload some gaming? Because we're gonna look. It's something. Right about now. This woman's dish soap disappeared two days ago. And then she Has he thought about sitting up. in StreamYard for 24 hours a day? Someone he should get some friends like that. Extra, 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 extra large cutting board. Look at the size of Other that. Other guys thing. like him, who, and they can just give each other positive reinforcement Don't all day long. Don't throw the hot coals from your charcoal grill. How's this funny? It's, the plastic it's not a laugh. <laughs> A guy bought a seven dollar suit at a Goodwill store and he brought it home and found out it was a Giorgio Armani. I looked it up and those things go for thousands and thousands of dollars. What a wow. good find. That is hilarious. I saw this oh, earlier and I looked an into it. Ice maker in your freezer. Like obviously that's not a joke. That's not funny. With someone getting a deal, but I looked it up and like a Giorgio Armani thing. suit goes for fifteen hundred new like a guy uh, the i think they have different levels of them but they can go from like they can also be set. like 500 bucks right yeah <laughs> that's just the jacket like the ones they <laughs> the ones they sell at, at macy's are 500 bucks and it could just be a fake one and he went mm -hmm. over there and he but it like yeah like a used armani blazer is not time you change the filter and she said thank you doc jaw for the uh well, I hope 15 you months. This video. I'm off to the races. I love you all. Take care, stay safe. I'm off to be racist. The Illuminator. <laughs> wow, great video, Lou. <sighs> Game over. This is just fucking intros and outros were longer than the fucking funny videos. They weren't even funny. Oh, it's. Fuck? I think he was <laughs> on like a r slash mildly interesting. Uh join you honey or maybe the nine gag version of that i don't know how you find shit like that i was Jesus. trying to find the bubster all righty and hey, he wasn't there under here be Troll rabbit Hell so trevor i looked up his, his his full name trevor ryan and found this new video from the beginning of the month to you from my brand new channel he has Ooh, another new channel at least my channel for now because uh my uh here be rabbit channel vanished 
What the it fuck? Absolutely vanished on Friday. How are we gonna find the and, content uh, we love to watch? What do you I mean? I did actually get an email what? from YouTube saying it had been removed. It had been uh, taken down. How? And they gave me absolutely no reason whatsoever why that was. Saucy Nigella, thank you for the 14 months. So, uh, I've never heard of this before. I'm thinking it had to be like just a mistake with an algorithm or whatever. What? Because I had absolutely no strikes. Did he do it by accident? Because he, he didn't do anything wrong. No complaints whatsoever. He doesn't do any copyrighted uh, stuff. What's it been like eight months that I've had that channel? Like, no, like you would the and, most uh, mundane the shit you could possibly I heard of upload. A couple other instances where uh, we got to get him some subs. Had gotten their Everybody, let's get Bubster to a hundred subs. On the exact same day on oh, I don't know. After a certain point, you have for, to cut uh, people off when they uh, <laughs> they come back in a new account twenty I'm times. This just had to be an error. Like on Twitter, well, when no, people are like, you got a fucking, you got hacked. Or whatever. You get an at from yes, like. Uh, uh, Hopefully, at despised racist some point I'll get my like hey man uh, I got banned back. again can you follow me on my new account a tiny channel <laughs> I don't know like that, yeah despised but, uh, racist uh, oh you might know me as mr. To pedophile that was my last ad name that, uh, uh, I got banned again to that channel so all right thank you to the 19 working of you the, that have subscribed to Bubster working on the appeals and uh, harassing YouTube on Twitter I'll be and, subscribing uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully in the near future I'll get that channel back and I'll use this uh, Trevor Ryan channel as a uh, as a backup. He gets banned more than uh, fucking uh, Mind of Jason, dude. Anyways, you guys, yeah. have a nice day here in. Uh, it's just called Trevor Ryan. Rapids, there you Michigan. go. I think we're actually He's like Nick the, Fuentes. Uh, I think we're in the forties. <laughs> kicked off of every platform. Wise, which really isn't, uh, which is really nice for this time of year in uh, in West Michigan. He's being, and, uh, he's being suppressed because he's a Bernie supporter. Store, <laughs> just on a, uh, a caffeine run. Gonna get some uh, Diet Mountain Dew. I've been going through that. Here's Bubster. Yeah, I bet Bubster. They have Mountain Dew Zero back in Canada now. Drinking, it's just Pretty good. The, uh, a bunch of it in my Mountain fridge. It's not going anywhere, too. Give him to Andrew, dude. So I haven't seen him since we, grabbing, you told me to do that last time. Get some you coffee, go, man. Did you go fishing with him? Anyways, oh, guys, I did. I didn't think about it. Mm. Not too much else going on with me. It was a busy day. to do a brief video to uh, throw up on this new channel. Just let you guys throw know up on what's this going new on. Channel. And, uh, and that way I can go into... Uh, I can go into streams with this channel and there'll be a video... I'll have at least one video on that on this Wait, what? So <laughs> I'm going to mail Bubster caffeine so, pills from Amazon. Uh, and yeah, like Did you I catch said, that, Andrew? Or not my, Andrew. Uh, Alex? No, what? Anyways, you guys. I can go into streams with this channel and there'll be a video. I'll have at least one video on that ch on this channel so people know it's legit. And, uh, I know he's not a clone. And yeah, like I said, hopefully I'll get my. Uh, here he's not going to the streams. Uh, <laughs> back sometime in the near future. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, you guys, I appreciate it. I just want to round this bad boy oh, up. Oh man! To, uh, so no one thinks he's a beaver and no dragon puts him in the moat or whatever the fuck. Video for this, uh, God, it, it for would be. Channel, I'll be using, uh, <laughs> fucking Bubster shows up on one of those panels. In the meantime. <laughs> So, anyways, you guys, Jeez. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. All right. Are you going to watch Lestosti? Hi. Yeah. Welcome to Let's Stay. Yeah, let me pause it. Okay, right. I'm ready whenever. You ready, Chet? Yeah. Three, two, one. Hi, and welcome to Let's Taste. My name is Yoni, and this is the Apple Cider Vinegar Challenge. Let's go. <laughs> we were challenged by Hoffa Chaos to drink Apple Cider Vinegar. Hell yeah. Let's taste. He has the I'll fucking late 90s new metal bassist know. beard. <laughs> After he goes in for a job interview. Yeah, I was Before he goes into one. Yeah. Like, uh, three <laughs> bottles of vinegar, but uh, why not to drink four? It's, it's more even and... <laughs> Sounds better, so... Why not drink four? two liters of this. <laughs> Probably because it's going to make you puke and shit.
no idea how it tastes. Well, he doesn't know that right they, now. No, I think they died. It, so it's pretty strong. Uh, Hoffa and uh, Michael guy ate some... Um, Michael Gravel. Carolina this has uh, 30,000 30, views yes, for, for you guys who are wondering. <laughs> yeah, so pretty it's, good. It was, I have no it was a small uh, channel. Reaper here. So uh, I were sponsored by a friend of mine. To drink That's one of the Gravel twi- tweens, teens. <laughs> the Gravel <laughs> twins. Uh, it's, uh, That's Mike Gravel's twin brother who's still alive. Really strong. It's concentrate. Yeah, I'm going to try this one <laughs> instead of the Karina Reapers. I don't know if it's worse. But, the Karina uh, Rapist. I take this afterwards if I <laughs> can. So uh, I'm going to drink two liters of uh, apple cider vinegar what the fuck? and finish it off with this a lot um, of people think this is healthy scorpion yeah it's it's alkalizing <laughs> i have no idea how it is it's probably really strong so that my when i was and, uh, my second ever client in personal Hoffa training was this like 72 73 year old hungarian woman mm-hmm. be able to and say okay i don't know she so, had a lot of joint pain so i was the uh, back then but like took. reading a lot of stuff about oh yeah you, you gotta know, get alkaline seed. by eating like a lot of <laughs> leafy green vegetables and staying away mm-hmm. from pro-inflammatory foods and oh. I told her that, just like trying to get her to eat more veggies, you yeah, know, mm-hmm. maybe some less bread. And she went and did her own research on like alkalinity <laughs> and found the apple cider vinegar thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So she put the, apple cider vinegar in her day, water bottle for all of her workouts. Um, and it just fucking stunk like uh, vinegar. <laughs> <from> <laughs> like entire outrage. Yeah. Hey, How is it alkalinity? Though? Yeah. Was she My, into you? <laughs> yeah. Was she uh, hungry this, uh, for Aaron? I hope not. A long time. Yeah. She's just like a nice old lady. I was sitting on that one for too long. I shouldn't have yeah. said anything. It was it was bad. I'm sorry. Beach. I'm gonna go another beer though. <laughs> when uh, it smells really bad. <laughs> Drink it. Oh my god. Yeah. Now I can feel it in my stomach. How did you get the uh, the countdown announcer to be a European sounding guy in English? <laughs> Beach. Five, four, three. Oh my god. I skipped ahead to four minutes. I can't barely breathe. Oh, why'd you do that for? Because this is you 16 minutes us. long. Yeah, we're enjoying it together. Fuck. <laughs> Missed my hay bucket. <laughs> What's your timestamp? 4.35. Can't be good for you. It's natural. It's fine. It comes from the earth. That's right. Anything that comes from the earth can't kill you. Natural. Oh. Duh. I don't think it would be worse uh, worse than like uh orange juice or something. Oh my god. It's just that it tastes nasty and doesn't do anything. It burns. It's like yeah, drinking I a lot of lemon juice. <laughs> Legalize it. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I like uh what getting uh, some french like fries from the like, no. fair and putting vinegar on them. That hits the spot. And I'm usually a dry guy when it comes to french fries. Hey, Black Tiger Driver, thank you for the brand new Prime. Oh, you're thank usually you. a dry guy when it comes to french fries? Yeah, if you need ketchup for your fries, that means your fries aren't very good. What the hell? Brett, you're a dry you guy for jacking off, bad. too. Uh, I was. What happened? You got Stop wet. jacking off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just started taking, SSR, I just start taking <laughs> SSRIs. I was say, that's the Adderall. <laughs> no, the Adderall makes you hornier. Okay, so it balances out. Yeah. You need oh, some more right. Adderall to jack off again. Got that cold sweat. Yes. Oh, crying. Oh. This guy's in pain. This is really this stupid to do. Yeah, one of my favorite things growing up was going to Arthur Treacher's. Get the jacking the, uh, off dry. <laughs> just jacking off onto my fucking french fries. Oh my Bro. god. And, uh, yeah, just, just dousing it in vinegar. The whole thing. So good. Ooh. One and a half left. Oh. So you're addicted to for two years, never again. Yeah, That's some people. Doesn't, doesn't help them. Yeah, seasoning. Yeah, like, don't get me wrong. I can eat just plain regular fries, but like the seasoned ones, that's where it's at. Ooh. The season, <laughs> seasoned fries are good. Oh, yeah. What do you do? But I'd like to have some ketchup <laughs> there. everywhere. 
I'd oh, like to I dip it. a couple of them in. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> that's got to taste so bad. <laughs> oh, I guess it, it probably tastes about the same coming back up as it did going down, because it already kind of tastes like vomit. Yeah, all yummy now. Ah. Chat, let's get some yummies yummy. going. Yummy. Yummy. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's all. Oh, I can't imagine. That's so bad. <laughs> when does he shit? Oh, it looks like he's like a cum shot, dude. Oh. Vinegar facial. It was a total fail. One of the first times I failed it was when. Actually, yeah, Chad, well, he starts shitting in the I bucket here any before, minute now. It was. This was the worst fail ever. Oh. Oh. All right, just previewing. It looks like no. it's not until about another five minutes. I so. failed. So I don't know if you guys want to fast forward to that uh, spot. Oh, or he, he, what is go this? To, don't want to do oh, it. yeah, he takes some hot sauce. You... Oh, that's right. He's got to do... Oh, yeah, okay, never mind. We're going to get that part, too. Uh, didn't continue. I just filled up my flask here. Half of it is full of puke, so... Oh. I really don't want to drink this. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, bits of my dinner here. Bits of my dinner. Oh, Lord. Blech. I just need to clean a little here, so... This guy's a savage. We will continue. Mm -hmm. oh. Well, I got my puke bucket ready. Oh. And we got this little sucker left. Why do you have to do that? That's not even in the title. So... <laughs> I thought he was going to pour it into the puke bucket and oh, drink some puke. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Wait, what, the, what time are you guys at right now? Uh, I'm at uh, 10.07. Yeah. Jesus, I'm, how am I 30 seconds behind you guys? It's worse. Oh, wow. <sighs> so, this is the Moroga score. Man, I'm like going to work the next day. Oh. <laughs> this is your day off. Oh. <laughs> Cheers. Fuck. Yeah, I think the apple cider vinegar I had uh, was poisoned. <laughs> That'll wake you up. You don't even need to do a coffee. <laughs> do a coffee. Oh. Dude, I did so many coffees today. Ow. Oh. Oh. Mm. This guy does the best pukes, man. They're so loud, emotive. Mm -hmm. He's a scream yeah. puker. This is about as good as it gets, production-wise. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, for a video like this. Uh, yeah. And props to him. I would recommend not drinking this kind of stuff. <laughs> well. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I don't think it's good for you. <laughs> no, it's Is that true, Andrew? <sighs> okay. What, what the is... fuck is it? Is that bleach? Oh, it's milk. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was like paint stripper. <laughs> Settle his stomach. <laughs> He's so funny. Whoa. <laughs> I need some mineral spirits. Kill himself. <laughs> Uh, cheese. Why? Is, yeah. Why does milk come in like a fucking like windshield washer fluid yeah. container in Sweden? What the fuck? I guess it's kind of cool. Did you say, wait, what? He just said something about he just shit himself, or is about to. <laughs> I don't think milk goes well with this. It's like milk and orange juice can upset your stomach. So I assume it's anything acidic with milk. 
Du <rire> shit myself. <rire> oh fuck pas. Helvete. Ah bon c'est pas ça. Ouais, c'est comme ça le fucking hell or something. Show. Oh, oh man. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> yeah, I think we get to hear him hear him shit there. Yeah, I oh, hear him shit. Yeah. <laughs> Oh god! <laughs> oh, the blood. He is shooting something fierce. Oh, no. I love how they have these like these are ancient alien um, graphics, and oh, when they're no. talking about like molecular shit. Oh my god! Oh, this... oh. that is no. wet, dude. I'm not in my chair anymore. <laughs> not in my chair anymore. Lucky I got my lucky bucket here. Um, oh my! Do you uh, keep the bucket after that? <laughs> like, absolutely. You know, what, do you, what do you do with the bucket? I don't know you what you do with that. That's too much. That's too much liquid in there oh, for a toilet. It hurt like hell. You do twice. And, uh, or you do twice. Few, I think I'll it'll probably, just, probably just, just dig a hole outside and just the, just bury uh, it. Scorpion the shape. whole thing. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> oh, the smell in here! They are one of a kind now. I hope you like the, the smell video. in here. Are one of a kind. Oh, no. man. Check it. And, uh, smell it. Write down below uh, what you think. You about know what? You got a thumbs up for that, pal. Insane, so. These guys and have also, vomit alert on so many of their videos. Please, uh, subscribe <laughs> yeah. down below and push that little bell button so you can get a notice. It smells every time crazy. We there. Yeah, that's video. right. Well, thank 30, you for this views. time. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. He earned them. Uh, yeah. Oh, it burns. It didn't play any ads for me. I wonder if it like isn't safe oh. for advertisers. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> the sh the shit and sounds in the background are uh, they're good. Oh boy. Good to listen to in HD. All right, back to watch together. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is my newest instrument here. As you can see, my guitars are on the side. Oh, yeah. My little ukulele guitar and then my other guitar. That's what, my like, a Swedish-style right socialist youth, society piano. gets you. That's their equivalent of Outlaw. Piano, Look how good uh, that was. Let's do, let's do a little bit of a... Why are your two keys really sticking up? Chicken wings. Uh, just to show you what it, some chicken wings what later. it sounds like. Also comes with his comfy seat. <laughs> that last video made me hungry. Uh, <laughs> microphone. And some... Uh, uh, headphones. Did he buy this new? Seems like it's new, but some of the keys are broken. At least it's in yeah, tune, it you know. Down it's really loud. Yeah, it doesn't have to tune it. Oh, Hell yeah, brother. You doing Morse code? Well, jokes on you, Nimbus. Wasn't reading the chat. Honestly, this kind of goes off. I am a lineman for the county. <laughs> it's like more grading than his guitar shit, dude. Please, the, the guitar is like more in the, the, sun sun the background. For <laughs> this is just Captain Beefheart, yeah. <laughs> this is what Captain Beefheart, like. Oh, yeah. He would write songs like <laughs> this, and then someone would have to transcribe Gosh. them into actual music. It's a little bit uh, too. It's a little bit too. Uh... 
sensitive to uh, the sound and everything, so I'm gonna have to fix this or something, do something different. Second Amendment. I know I need this, this, it, what are those, uh, the videos, the, the, or, uh, the bad lip syncing ones that we were watching the other day? Um, I forget what band it was, but, uh, Shreds, oh, yeah, yeah, the Shreds. Shreds. Yeah, this guy sounds like what the Shreds edits oh. are. Yeah. <laughs> on the line so yeah that's uh, my new uh setup here for my you know, it's my not really piano but uh it's my first keyboard i ever owned actually no it's not my first keyboard but this is uh yeah, some really of the keys nice do keyboard. look fucked this up is, yeah what uh, it's gonna be used it's not my first keyboard but i had a keyboard a long time ago like this but it was uh Don't much smaller off. andrew just thank you like for the 46 months thank you. thanks dude like maybe like that big that's how big it was. This is pretty big. It takes up a pretty large part of my room. But Oh, Andrew, uh, Actually, I the old retired fishing guy who comes into work all the time and came I, in for uh, work today with his, all his fishing here, gear out. Room. I, last time he came in, I told him we got skunked, anyway, and he was like, Hey, what's cool. up? I'm on my way down to Waterton to show you guys it's possible to catch fish there this time of the year. So He said he's going to take a picture if he catches anything, so I'm probably going to get roasted in a few days when he comes in again. Fucking piss. Just not gonna sit here. Alright, we should kick his ass. Here. Fuck it. Yeah, it's I like how there's the percussion of him smashing his fingers down on the keys, too. Yeah. Just hit hey, the demo we're... button. Why are you even looking at your hands? What does it even matter? on his mind what are you thinking about that will be bananas yeah or fucking a toad you need to free him damn where's the next w all right <laughs> Elections approaching Sanders' petition, put school choice on California ballot, allow parents to choose an education savings account. The state <laughs> fund each year's account with 14,000 without California school taxes. bonds. Finally, allow parents to use ESA funds to enroll their children. Wait a minute, go. Is that you? But while I'm so ready for this change, cause for the did she turn the gain up? There'll be school choice. There'll be freedom for the first time. Yeah, this is Callie Bonds. We can for this is her of education. Harry's daughter. May be used for college or training. Cause for the first time in forever. The school choice petition. I can't wait to sign the petition. What if I meet the ballot? The school choice measure gets it right. 
Imagine of education in Confer. How does she even know these songs? The student without conditions. That education tax funds into parents' I mean, hands. Frozen is a, a pretty popular movie. Maybe she's an adult Disney person, you know? Does she have kids? She probably does. Oh, God. Are you tired of how California public schools brainwash your kids with harmful transgender ideology? Good. Oh, boy. Not great. Fancy, you're canceled. Dude, her, her I know you made a bunch of songs about Donald Trump. It's a screenshot of her YouTube. Oh. Problematic queen. Hello, friend. Mormo here, and I'm going to go see the movie Hi, Mormo. tonight, and I'm really excited. I'm about a half hour early, and I was really Very excited really to good. eat at Long we'll John Silver's, but they closed at 9. As I pulled up to the thing, they, uh, an automated voice said, sorry, we're closed. Man, that so sucks, Mormo. I decided to go to Burger King, and it's I'm nocturnal. trying the new Whopper Melt. Uh, so hopefully he sleeps in a coffin and he wakes up. Got and the sun goes down. Zero from the vending machine. And it's real good. But here's the my vending machine. Key, you mean the fountain? You see. Yeah. And be sure <laughs> and stick around to see what Confused I thought for of a the second. movie X. I didn't oh, know I they had Mormo. Surge Zero. Surge is Mountain Dew, right? I love Burger King's fries. They have really Is it the same fries. thing, or is it just similar? I don't know. I, I thought it, it was a different thing. Here. Oh, he poured into an old cup. That makes sense, Andrew. Mormo always has the best music. Oh, he's just kidding. Well, fuck, Andrew. Why are you pranking me? The fuck? Yeah, Burger King has awesome fries. They're they're almost as thick as like steak fries. This is so haunting. Yeah. They're real thick and yeah, when it's you like get he's... them hot, they're real good. What would this music be playing? It's like in a movie. There's like mischievous, like a and mischievous wizard nice is making a potion. This is him, the mischievous wizard. There you go. But See, I'm not going to make you watch me eat. Michael Burrito, nailed it. But this is not Music a good from the sandwich. claymation James the Giant Peach by, by when his aunt would have rather just gotten two whoppers. This is so scary. There's even that shadow. It looks like someone's holding a knife. <laughs> I love how the the Whopper Melt review plus X movie review is at least 70% Whopper review. Yeah. Or not even review, it's just like him eating the Whopper. Well, the Whopper is right here. The movie, that was like yeah, an hour ago. Was... He doesn't even remember. Well, no, it's before the movie, isn't it? Oh, is it? That's a I lot to eat so. right before you go into the movie. This night is turning bad, man. I hope at least I get to see a good movie. But uh, long he's out at like 11 p.m. That was really disappointing. Trying to go to drive through melt was really disappointing. I give it a two out of five. Damn. Not a very good sandwich. The regular Whopper is much better. <laughs> I gotta look at a picture of this Whopper melt. And um, I give the the fries five out of five though. They were hot and fresh and good. Oh yeah. I could eat. And Burger King has all awesome that bread fries. sucks though. 
So stick around and I'll tell you what I thought of the movie X. Stay tuned. Eat melt whoppers Hello, all night I just long. Got out of the movie Die X. behind the wheel. I was actually. <coughs> Excuse me, I was actually sitting in my car looking at the internet and people are already starting to talk trash about it. The stupid internet is going to be split again. Lots of people saying they hate it. Lots of people saying they love it. I loved it. I thought it was scary, well made. It had good nudity and sex, good gore. Um, Hell yeah. It was definitely scary and well done. It had a unique killer. It's a slasher movie, but I mean, it had a very unique killer, something I've never really seen before. It had. Um, no, I gotta go see it. There's great, good nudity like, and sex. If Mormo act, thinks it's accents, scary, it's gotta be scary. People talking like they were from Texas and stuff. And uh, like I say, I don't want to give away too much, but if you appreciate adult content, and you like seeing movies that are made for adults rather than children's films, then definitely go support the movie X. I think A24 is a great company and they make great films. Well, wow, typical dude, bro. And uh, this movie is Yeah, worth Mormo supporting. recommends it's movies really to women good, all like the time. I say. Mm -hmm. This is stuff I haven't seen in a while and should get Just on really Letterboxd. well made film, really enjoyable. I highly recommend it. And thanks so much for watching. I'm at You're Casey's welcome, Mormo. Thank you, Mormo. Mormo. Get a coffee and I enjoyed watching home. that whole thing. Welcome, YouTube. This is me exposing Zemi, exposing Zemi, the streamer on Twitch, and what he's Excuse doing us. to scam you out of your hard-earned money. Uh, the shirt sucks. Yeah, Michael videos. says this is a now, what video. To talk about is how he imagines the average tweeter who's never seen Twitch. Of three thousand two twenty-five, and the sub goal of thirty-one hundred. Now we we go th we zoom throughout the whole Praga, throughout the whole sub count. We end. We show him. We show his sub count at the end. So he only gained three subs. So he only gained three subs in a, in a total of three. So he only got three subs <laughs> in this whole. Yeah, guys, clearly never seen me stream Counter Strike at night. Now we're gonna back out. This was just like four, ten, like eight days ago. Oh, is this a scam? So now. Not Let the man days, work. Like five or six days ago, a not a substantial amount of time where subs will ro will refresh and not be the same. Don't sad. we love like, it? Don't we love Probably it? Probably love her. Thanks for the 23 months. So we'll go to this VOD where it started. Yeah, right, Michael? His, his stream <laughs> just really subs started. End. <laughs> and look at his sub goal under 3K. He's manipulating you into giving you. <laughs> He, that's not what I'm saying. He's manipulating you into changing his sub goal daily. Daily God. he does this. Every single day. He'll type in a random 2934 <laughs> make it look, try to make it look legit. But every single day he's changing it. So you don't even know how many subs. You know what's funny? Has. Like our sub Literally, count, can go like live on a Sunday stream especially, and for we'll, an example, like, we'll get, you know sometimes 50 80 we'll subs whatever stream. something in We're, that range right 20, and our sub count doesn't really change all that much now because like it's stream, yeah gift we is expiring and like this prime's expiring from like time. a month ago on a sunday it's lower yep sub count it's a lower sub count i only know i, I know this because like it'll say you know we're you know 2900 whatever three away from 1300 or something and then we'll get gifted five, and like 15 minutes later, we'll be like back you. down to underneath he three again. He's manipulating you into giving you subs to try and get his sub goal and get more money called. out of Thank you, Metal Lark Lemon. He doesn't That's literally about. need more Appreciate money. Remember, you can get a free sub to the channel to using uh, to, Prime Gaming. Hit that purple subscribe button. For free. Mm hmm. That's right. You're getting manipulated. 
He's like, oh, we're almost close to the sub Make sure you have your Amazon Prime subs, account attached to your can Twitch. Can we get a sub if we're Man, almost this guy's close stupid. to the sub goal? And now, a message from the President of the I'll United right States of America. I apologize. Former President of the United States I of sense. America. Whatever, piece of crap. I'm the President, regardless. I'm sorry, sir. Any social yeah. communist, thank you for the six yeah. months of leftist prime. Speaking the call from Amazon, Prima Soups. So it's like a Rob Ford mask, man. Criticize me. Jesus, man. Talk about me. Do me how did how did he get Trump Sit to make this video for him? Sit there and say that I was dead. Yeah, it's like when uh, <laughs> it's like when Fifty Cent went to Keenan Kale's house. <laughs> Yeah, quite a few aerosols so, there, but it's just so his room doesn't you stink, sit right? There and you talk about the old trusting. But now. <laughs> so funny. Now, I'm pretty sure this isn't Tom. You sure? Oh, yeah. yeah. Alright, I was wondering. Do you want someone who. Has a bad Man, that, why does he have a Ghostbusters <laughs> shirt like over top of that TV? <laughs> I mean, I guess he's not watching the TV, but why do you got to display the Ghostbusters T-shirt? I don't. I think those are vitamins, not prescriptions. At least a few of them. He has one of those faces that anybody would love. I mean, seriously, people, this guy. He's in the White House, screwing up everything. Look at all the stuff he's doing. It's, it's disrespectful. Not only he's upset because he has to live in squalor now because he's not in the White House. Oh, Stan Dark, thanks for giving that sub to Riley Scotch. Thank you, thank you. Stan Darsh, the Marsh. Yes. That's why uh, Elon Musk is going there with the SpaceX program and all that stuff because we know this extraterrestrial life. And if it is, we definitely need to build a big wall to stop the aliens from coming here. There's a picture of Lindsey Graham in this? It's not their world. Where? They don't need to I be know. here. You know that. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Ain't no way. That being said, Joe. Mm. It's time to Oh, the sub image. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, uh, yeah. I was going to say, that could be some, one of Alex's pranks. Yes. For, for, for Joe. He's been in office all this time, pretending <laughs> to be great. Our stupid asses. In the United States of America, and I, Trumpy, am ready to come back. And you, people? Have we said that the stuff on his nightstand is all the medications social he takes media? every day? Yeah. You want to ban me on Facebook media? Yeah, all the aerosols. Yeah. Those. From left to right, that's the order he takes him in. <laughs> that's what you got to do. When someone pushes you back, you push even harder for it. That guitar is no strings on. It's not good for the neck. Not supposed to do that. You're supposed to replace the string one at a time, not take them all off and then put them back on. And by the way, uh, that's David Esk right there. Disgusting. Four years, four years ago, 2018. I created a very edgy oh, channel nice, called No Respect. Impression. A channel that was so controversial, hey, I lost my damn mind. Not only was I a massive prick to my critics, but alienated my own audience. Alienated people that were once close friends what of mine. What a cool thing to say, what? dude. To get views? Or just to enrage people because of the stuff they do? What views? You didn't get any because views. Because I did a lot of stupid stuff. Whether it was spouting well, racist this words, old channel. downplaying people's mental oh, it... health, and telling my own subscribers in 2018 to go F themselves. After I peaked at 1,100 subscribers in 2018, what a beautiful landscape. everything turned ugly. My participation in a debate with a black man over the issue of race in December of 2018 finally got me to humble up. After that, <laughs> I went on hiatus and started all over for the year 2018. While I will never make it past 1,000 subscribers again, I did take into accountability several things. Number one, don't alienate those that love your work and admire you. That's worse than ignoring your critics. Number two, I appreciate the fan base you have oh, because boy. even if you don't get to 1,000 subscribers after 10 years or more, if you appreciate them, fateful day in 2018 after a day with a black man, my views changed. 
Find peace with yourself before you pick up the pieces and continue creating content. You would think that after 14 years on YouTube... Calling your channel No Respect right is like more so. terrible SEO because of Rodney Dangerfield. the past Dangerfield. couple of months, things have been unbelievable. People that I cut off years Mostly ago the, the have found channel's their deleted. way back to me. Some of them gave me a second chance even though I don't deserve it. Then there are those that apologize to me, giving me a chance to reconnect with them. Not only that... But I found the motivation to upbridge a cartoon that became a success. This is a normal voice. I don't because see what the problem is. From 2018, That's how he really talks. Really this is not... He sounds back good. To my channel, I'm blown away. People like Zero Star 6400, aka Lance 1000, <laughs> One subscriber. Karomi Tawa, and Kaz OSX have returned. What has just happened? What? Once again, it blows my mind that my fan base has returned. For other people from <laughs> the past that found this video, let me say this right now. I apologize for alienating you folks. You folks were there for me through the good times and the bad, but for me to squander friendships just to be a massive prick on the internet and brushing you guys off is the biggest mistake that I ever made. While it was nice for you folks that are subscribing to my channel on your own volition for the first time since 2018, this is beautiful. I will do my best to avoid mm -hmm. going back to my old ways. I know things will never be the same, but I, I do will appreciate never debate you folks coming back again. to my channel. 78 last years. Year, I've been focused on entertainment, cooking, economizing, and talking about whatever. My live streams were worth something to watch because really been as into my channel Borg. got bigger, more people started tuning in. Mm -hmm. My recent live stream was the first time that I talked on the microphone raw and unedited for His over Twitter's one gone. hour. I never did that before. But that just goes to show that I'm commanding attention that I haven't had in several years. That just goes to show that if I put forth effort and appreciate what I have, it can get better over time. And I think with a lot of people from the past coming back to my channel either as a subscriber or casual viewer, I gotta be humble and not a smug prick from 2018. Who knows what will happen in 2022? A big channel with a verified badge could talk about me. More people from 2018 or so will come back to my channel and just comment. Could you imagine Ponder Sprocket leaving a comment on my channel asking me to collaborate with her on a video? Could you imagine his Elf 101 making a good joke? This is so on sad to do. Another video that is not of I hope Mr. Beast notices me. <laughs> edgy jokes in her arsenal. Chances Can are you that imagine? I will be collaborating with the likes of the Conundrum, Eddie the Scammer, aka Cuter Lion Pilot, or Lance 1000 in the months to come. I don't know where the nice. direction I'm looking of this forward is to his of collaboration with Lance but whatever 1000. Happens, I will do my best. I'm no longer talking about politics. If you're not familiar, this guy's a white nationalist. I don't care by the about way. social events anymore. He's, uh... I want to try to be lighthearted, even though I have a reputation for being. Yeah, he hosts for much. True Nationalist Blue Radio. Video, I need to say yeah. this, which has two now, episodes. Some people will come around and likely subscribe to my channel on their own volition. There will be others that want to have a word with me to see if things can be straightened out. Yeah, it's the guy who's well, got the suspenders. Talk to me again for what happened. In yeah. Yeah. He well, looks like a King of the Hill character. Responsibility, and I will carry on. <clears throat> I know I have a lot to atone for in life. He was a nationalist as uh, so recently case, as December 2020. We'll carry on. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. He's a You're leftist welcome. now. Thank you for posting, sir. Throughout the past month, I have ended up earning subscribers. Some of the channels mm. that subscribe to me have potential to be successful. I as you very well know, I have not subscribed man. to anyone on YouTube, believe it or not. But does that mean the content on the channels automatically suck? Of course not. I will admit that certain channels can present decent content. You don't need to sub anymore. If you watch enough videos from the same from channel, you'll just get recommended quality, all the new pauses, videos. Stutters, disorganized thoughts, etc. I'm going to analyze certain YouTube channels and give you my thoughts. This is going to be interesting. Let's start off with Andrew Schaefer. This ain't the first time people have commented on my channels that I've taken a look at. On Schaefer's channel, I saw that he collaborated with another user to do a video on a user that left the internet in November 2021. I looked at the video and it was a flaming hot mess. The video was disorganized. Schaefer and his buddy were emotionally charged. <laughs> He's roasting his new subscribers? Repeating obscenities and threats. <laughs> we should start Never doing the fact this. That took yeah. inspiration for me, the video was a mess. So I was up front to Schaefer about the problems with the video. He remade the video with fewer obscenities, more points, and a little structure. The remake was alright, but I still criticized Schaefer stating that he needs to script his future videos to avoid repetition. Andrew Schaefer and I would become friends. I still talk to him today. He said he was going to get a microphone for audio clarity. Hopefully he gets audacity for audio editing purposes. I've seen his videos and his audio quality is the biggest issue that I have. But Schaefer is making the effort, so I commend him for accepting the criticism. 
Now to the next. This is so weird. JDM eight thousand. Yeah. This guy is it's not a successful YouTuber. YouTube. YouTube. He has four hundred and seventy-two subscribers. Called out. Yeah, but he had a so thousand back the in the day. And boy, it was a hot mess. That's true. Audio was too low. Background music muffled his speaking voice, which made it impossible to hear him. And I felt that he spoke a little soft. As soon as I listened in, I immediately criticized JM and told him to take down the video. While that normally discourages content creators, I had a legit reason. I don't tell someone to take down a video without offering legit criticism. Telling someone to take down a video without presenting legit points can come off as bullying. So I told JDM to- Just telling people to take down the video because he doesn't like the editing? He the video with their audio, making it easier for people to hear him call out the user in question. This guy's such a well, care, dude. JDM can produce better content This is so road, weird. I'll offer some constructive criticism. While JDM's channel is mostly joke videos, for the times he does speak, it can be grating. <laughs> this is where the criticisms come in. JDM, if you're going to talk in your videos, but if people are not willing to give someone looking to us, but Riley has yet to do something about it. I was able to hear Riley was when he did a commentary Riley. on the reaction to Riley. the team There's still words that are just like so board. fucking homer. I mean, Riley rocks. can't speak with authority. The audio on his camera fails to pick it up. Riley, I hope you are listening. Please get yourself a microphone. Use Audacity to adjust your microphone. In fact, when you get on this camera so with weird. do a test run until the camera and audio get very well together. You can either buy a blue snowball they get, microphone or until they get very well together. Lines. But it is a chore to sit through your rants. Oh, y'all, base. Thank you for the 11 months of pro. Thank you. I mean, you've been on YouTube since 2013, you. and you have a lot of potential to be a big. Thank well, you. hey there, everyone. I hate Josh and the Josher. Andrew here. Today, we're going to be ranting on a. I can't take this guy Jesus. seriously. He's joshing too much. Who I ranted on in my previous video, but. Yeah, this is. That's. But I'm doing a Just Josh, he means you're guy. kidding. His name is Josh the Josher. Oh, man. Oh, that. Oh, this is no. not the, the channel name. I'm sorry. Who is Josh the Josher? Or, those are people who don't. Are you not paying attention out. to the last video, Chet? <laughs> no, I was not. <laughs> I absolutely was not. I was actually responding to a text message from my good friend Keith Buckley regarding the charity stream on Saturday. Is he going to be on it? Okay. Well, what I've heard, I watched Borg's video check. on Josh and Josh, and holy shit, forget. Josh is a real piece of shit. Okay, here's what he did. He yes. literally... Nice. You heard it here first. People's That's the content. first of many. Yeah, you heard me. He flagged people's the Saturday. content for criticizing him. That's just really stupid and retarded. Like, oh, yeah. he's, he's allowed to say it. Yeah. He's allowed to yeah. say yeah. it. Yeah. And literally, These guys hate Josh the Josher. This guy's really, leftist. Seriously. Why did he have to go this far? Like, literally. Like, literally. Why did he have to go this far? It's your fault for taking Josh like, the Josher seriously. seriously. So that white nationalist guy saw this video and he typed up a list of people. constructive that criticism about awful. the audio and sent like, it to that guy. Yeah, really? and so he re-uploaded oh, it and then left another comment saying, this is better, but next time do a script so you don't repeat Literally. yourself. I feel so bad. So weird. Who got bullied by Josh. For the, okay. For those people who got bullied, Josh, I am very who got sorry bullied, Josh. for what happened to you. And I mean it. And I'm very sorry for what happened. <laughs> the next thing he did was... Doxing. Yeah, you heard me. Dox the he doxer. People. <laughs> which put them in flipping jeopardy for crying out, crying out loud. Back on topic. Yeah, like literally. Fuck Josh the Josh. I can't find this guy's He's actual bad. content. No, Who's Josh the Josh? People that are pissed off about him. So yeah, I just see people getting so mad horrible. about him. Which is a freaking stupid. And he also doxed a fucking child. Like, holy shit. Flipping dots a child. You know what I will get you, Josh? Who Josh is the Joshers? In November 2021, Josh the, Josh the Josher left the internet following his feud with a user named Box of Fox. The heat that Josh oh got my from calling out God. Box of Fox was considered nuclear. Well, ever since my video on Josh came out, many people called out Josh for being a creep, an asshole, and an overall manipulative person. 
But after watching all of the videos and hearing multiple testimonies, <laughs> I think it is time to end this internet saga once and for all. <laughs> Ladies have, and gentlemen, this the following have the best video production. that you are about to see is the top five worst things that Josh the Josher has done. Oh, here we go. Sure, Make sure you no watch the end, the because now, the fifth one will shock even you. Oh, wait, no, it shocked even me. Number five, That's what flagging say. down content. Back in the year 2018, a channel called Teehee Hub got flagged by Josh the Josher for copyright <laughs> nice. infringement. Teehee Hub was a channel that was hosted by Crafting Lord 21, now CL 21. <laughs> Crafting Lord 21. Craft These are all videos. drilled fucking fake. These are this is Digimon Hub Otis and the rest of the gang. Yeah, they analyzed terrible content on Vidly. In the video featured one of Josh the Josher's reaction videos criticizing him for reacting poorly and not putting out any effort in terms of entertainment. I felt that CL 21. TCT and WACV had legitimate points that could have helped Josh do better reaction videos. Videos that could have captivated the attention of the reaction community. Instead of taking the into the reaction points, community, Josh flagged down the video, giving Josh even more criticism. That does not end there. Well, I, I am against Josh the Josher then. If he did a copyright him, flag on that, legit points. <laughs> yeah. He also tried to flag down. You should let people criticize you. Insulting Josh personally, YouTube rejected the claim causing Josh to seethe and rage. So yeah, flagging down content, even if it's negative about you, is not the way to handle things. You can either take the criticism or you can ignore it, but never, ever censor criticism. Shut the fuck criticism. up, smooth, no or not. Doing that will get you more I don't think he sounds regardless. like Mike Pipper. It will make you look worse. Most criticisms that uh, were Ah, Mike Pipper sounds more like this. It's more raspy. That's how you handle criticism. Wanna you know how I got these? Only pussies flagged down <laughs> content. <laughs> I, I, thought, I thought that was Mike Piper. Bullying people. Every time people conversed, they were not allowed to say certain things. If Josh caught wind of something even remotely not to his liking, he would go on a huge bitch fit demanding people that apologized to him for judging him, something that he did to me multiple times, which I will get to soon. This is how people would leave his server. It would even get this worse. This is like a Josh's court Discord case or something. Yeah. <laughs> it's about Discord thing. drama between <laughs> like server. That was when things really got bad. <sighs> Honestly, I'm, 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 it's so stupid I'm captivated I said by something it. something about him having an episode. Of course, people that picked up on it knew that this he is, was having an is, autistic episode. Something that is quite common it. among autistic people that are not capable of controlling it. Yes, I am aware of the autism spectrum and how autism sometimes cannot be controlled. But Josh would rage about his personal life. Then when I said he had an episode, I got kicked out for being disrespectful in his server. Now it's hard to show you're, all the you're evidence, acting but I'm gonna try and basically give context here. Josh interjected himself this in a is several a of my slap social fight media between posts nerds. that had nothing to do with him. <laughs> I don't know why he blocked me. When the nerds start fighting each other, me for being racist. Is the, the is, irony was is, that Joshua has said something racist the himself. Here's Exhibit A. Wait. No, Who the sure fuck that. are these Most people? The these are Ed nobodies. Ray report one. Joshua Josh is suspended from Twitter. Yep. He deleted his channel. It's no crazy that this way. is happening yes now. Way. This is. It feels very old YouTube to me. Mm. Aww. You gotta eat your watermelon, kid, so you can think straight. You know what I'm saying? What? He also got furious when I called out Megan Rapinoe for being a disgrace to her own parents, saying that I would rather have a fascist woman in my kitchen than Megan Rapinoe. Yet Josh got angry at several women, including in his Discord server. When women in his Discord server rejected him, he did not handle it very well. I know a few women will have choice words for me, but it is what it is. Number 3. Doxing Josh was well known for putting Don't people's see. real names out in public even when users did not like that. Sometimes it was without the consent of the user in question. When you do something like You're, that, are you not you following this? That alone is considered a crime because you are putting the securities of people in jeopardy just because you got pissed. Now it's one thing if you decide to put your own name out there, but putting someone else's name out there without what their consent is a real name? But do you when Joshua that? Joshua was terminated in March 2021. He blatantly doxed a then 15-year-old uh, child just when the green Josh text doesn't work. He lost his YouTube account. <laughs> Josh apparently doxed other people that he didn't like putting their lives at risk as well. And this is something crybabies do in an attempt to humble their accusers. When scumbags do this, their accusers can get killed because accusers. someone got their address, put it on GPS. He's saying accusers like people. guys online say That's Coomer. <laughs> a Coomers. I don't care how autistic the world gets. I don't care how pissed the crybabies get. Wait, Doxing I don't care how autistic the world gets? Did he say that? I, I didn't know, know that could affect the world. GPS and took the it's like the climate. People. That's how serious doxing is. I don't care how autistic the world gets. I don't care yep. <laughs> how pissed the crybabies get. 
Doxing is not the way to handle any situation on the internet. I can't say the number of people that Josh the Josh are doxed, but it is a messed up situation. Number 2. Supporting Domestic Terrorism For context, in April of 2018, a woman named Nassim Agdam of Iran shot up YouTube headquarters in San Diego, California. I Even remember. though none of the people at YouTube headquarters the Red died, Scare Lady. Nassim committed suicide. <laughs> Three people were shot, but only Nassim died. This was domestic terrorism. Why did Nassim Agdam do this? She was furious that her videos on YouTube got to monetize. A lot of people were pissed at the incident, citing that YouTube could have been shut down due to this incident. However, Josh had a different opinion. Josh praised Nassim as some sort of martyr that supposedly took a stand against the policies of YouTube. This got him flack because he essentially threatened domestic terrorism. Alright, here's a clip from Starman's video once again. If you fuck around with us, we're gonna come back hard. And we're what not gonna be painting? nice about it. Oh my god, after that YouTube shooting, and being like, yeah, that's what you get, YouTube, for deleting subscribers from my account. Thank you for taking a stand, Nassim. Thank oh, you Joshua Josher's been uh, suspended from Twitter. We, we just said that three minutes ago. Well, he's just well, joshing. Here it is on the record. <laughs> Touche. <Joshua> is threatening <laughs> domestic terrorism. Touche. No. I did not edit this. this is Actually, I think you're, it was, I, I thought terrorist. Borg was, now, this uh, is not the only time who's also no longer on Twitter. Or whatever. I came across this screenshot of Josh <laughs> screaming at fans of Tyrone Magnus, mm -hmm. and I have to go on record to say Tyrone yes. Magnus? Thing Josh has ever said. Oh, man. Here is Josh on a tirade about Tyrone's fans being kids and saying some really stupid crap about them. Okay, Tyrone Magnus is, is uh... Dropped. Josh wanted children to got be two million with subs heavy mining equipment and like reacts to superhero trailers and stuff. What the hell is? Even so, awesome. this screenshot alone proves how mentally well, ill this Josh would really Josh keep Joshua the Josher from getting a job if he was employable. <laughs> if Starman were to return to do like, what are these guys even going to do to each other by doing Starman this? Starman would be enraged by this. Oh, oh no, I'm canceled. I this can't like go to the library. Number one. Ladies and gentlemen, if you do not want to hear this one, stop the video and find another video to watch because right. this will enrage you. Right. Right. Back in January yes. 2022, a user yeah. named Smash Productions, formerly known as Smash Pictures, revealed a horrific story of Josh the Josher. What is the story? A horrific story Josh of the Josh Josher's, the Josher. Quote, relationship, unquote, with Smash. Why is it horrific? Because oh. at the time, Smash was 15 years old, all because Josh Nasty. constantly got rejected by women. So he decided to project his 17 year old, team 17, boy. so I could fuck this is you. A to be fair, that guy's probably like mentally 12. Category of being mm -hmm. a so it's the other person he's at fault. Productions himself made these messages public. This is not me slandering. This is a fact that Josh is a sick monster. Look at the screenshot here, courtesy of Smash Productions from March 18th of 2020. If BMF hacked Josh's accounts and gathered this screenshot, it would have been so. Look at that Josh fucking right phone. There. Prior to Josh's exit from the internet, no one expected Josh to be an ephebophilic monster. Not even BMF himself saw this coming. And Smash was scared not even BMF. because he was in his mid-teens at the time of this incident. This is not the only time Josh displayed tendencies toward children. Apparently, Josh made a pass at two other teen boys. Now, I will not name the names because victims do not deserve to have their names made public without you know, their consent. So I, will not I don't think names. he did this because he was rejected well, by women. I think he's just he a pedophile. Josh yeah. asked if he can meet this boy at some restaurant. The other one is not so clear with me. Now, if these stories about the two boys are true, then that solidifies Josh as a sick man that should never access the internet again. Look, I know life can be rough for people, but no one gets a pass for making a pass at underage people. Just like no one gets no, a pass I am against Josh the Josher. Stalking or doxing. Mm -hmm. He's a bad guy. When we think about controversial people in internet history, who do we think of? Life in the Tent? Sam Pepper? Logan and Jake Paul? Or even Randy Stare? In any case, here is the story of a guy that could have had success oh, this failed could, in Okay. Same shit. Oh, fuck. God this is a it. really bad intro. This is horrible. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm not even gonna watch it. Fuck you. It's no, too I need bad. to see what happens. Come on, let's watch that intro again. Promises. I first met Joshua a week after I published the co-op I did with my friend A363MTR on T-Bone 2004. That really rolls off the tongue. It was through him tone. that I ended up befriending the likes of the Blind Bard, T-Bone, the Canadian Toast, and several others. 
The Canadian. I thought of John. These guys Lester. take this okay, so uh, seriously. Overall, benevolent guy. <laughs> the like, Canadian he and I never had any toast. real beef with each other. Although that's likely going to change things. Yeah, I found this channel here. when I uh, looked up Following Josh and Josher on Fox, Twi Fox, Twitter, and, and somebody co commented on this, well and this was their YouTube the channel. Community he fostered. Mm -hmm. I thought that would be the end of it, but man, oh man, all the revelations we've had over these past few weeks really awakened me to just what kind of person Joshua is. And while I don't necessarily consider him a malign figure in my tumultuous life story. There's no denying that the man has some massive problems that he has zero one to resolve. Therefore, he is on the fast track to personal stagnation. Joshua has been upfront about his struggles with Asperger's syndrome and major depressive disorder in the past. I myself have had struggles. I don't with care how well, autistic the world gets. Anxiety, ADHD. Yeah, all these guys are accusing each other of autism. having autism. So I was often the awesome. guy who would give him advice whenever he needed somebody to turn to. Like all of and them no, don't, and all of me us stating don't. All of this is not me giving him a "go easy on him, he's autistic" card. It's all Spider-Man pointing at himself. Explain some of his actions, but they certainly don't excuse him in any way. My goal here is to slightly escalate my force from private suggestion to public service, in the hopes that Joshua will be held accountable for his actions and therefore needs to be him. held accountable. I'm not here to start a witch hunt or to condone the. We need to call him in. Thank God, we needed this. Gorilla today. <laughs> 